Well, safety alert tonight as folks are once again visiting our local beaches. First responders in Fort Morgan have a new life saving tool. NBC 15's Corey Pittman is in Baldwin County tonight where community donations made this new purchase possible. Corey. Well, Greg Kim, the auto CPR machine will work to resuscitate victims, allowing Fort Morgan first responders to focus on other areas of treatment. And I'm told it's already helped one person. This is the Lucas automatic CPR machine, the newest life saving tool in the arsenal of Fort Morgan volunteer firefighters tasked with patrolling nearly a dozen miles of beachfront often plagued with dangerous rip currents. Fire medic Alicia Gutierrez says the device is easily carried and loaded into responding vehicles. It takes the hardest step away and that's maintaining adequate chest compressions and it's a game changer for us. An even more important task, Gutierrez says, considering Fort Morgan's distance from the nearest ER at South Baldwin Medical Center in Foley. If you have a patient who needs CPR, who's coded, if the helicopter can't fly, you have to do CPR. 45 minutes or longer. The $20,000 device was purchased thanks to fundraising efforts by the Fort Morgan Volunteer Fire Department's Lady Auxiliary. And in March, it was used to help an elderly woman who fell and stopped breathing. When they took her to the hospital, she was still alive. So that was worth every $20,000 that we spent. Last year, fire crews began using Jevin, a remote controlled flotation device named after a Wisconsin teen lost in rough surf. Beachgoers like Nikolai Beasley say the more safety measures in place, the better. So it's kind of nice knowing that they're getting up to date products that's helping them out without, you know, in certain situations, no matter what it may be, whether it be a drowning, shark attack, whatever. And Gutierrez says this is perfect timing. The department handled nine emergency calls within the first two days of the beaches reopening. Reporting live in Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.